The Inovo Drawer System Designer lets you create your own custom drawer storage unit in three different styles. Stationary drawer cabinets, mobile drawer cabinets, and drawers and shelving. This video will show you the steps to customize a drawer storage system for your specific application. We'll start at the home screen with stationary drawer cabinets selected as the default. We'll create a stationary drawer cabinet and then review the differences for mobile drawer cabinets and drawers and shelving at the end of the video. Begin by selecting the size of the cabinet that you want. The dark blue dimensions are all the possible sizes available for selection, and the lighter square is your current selection. There are some size combinations that are not available and will be grayed out. Select your cabinet dimensions and then select the type of base you want. Cabinets can be supplied without a base, or with 2-inch bases that are forklift accessible, or with 4-inch bases that can be moved by a standard pallet jack. Once you've made your selections, click on the green button that says Drawers. Here you will select drawers for your cabinet. Drawers are added from the bottom up. To add a standard drawer to your cabinet, just click on a drawer height and the drawer will be installed. Keep in mind that the usable height inside our drawers is one inch less than the face height shown. A running calculator on the left shows how many inches you have left to fill. As you get near the top of the cabinet, some heights will not fit in the remaining space. You can also insert a rollout shelf with lips on three sides or with a lip in the back only. Rollout shelves can be used to fill a cabinet or they can be combined with standard drawers in any layout. To add a rollout shelf, click on the drop down menu to the right of the Add Width button. Choose the amount of usable space you want above the rollout shelf. The rollout shelf frame uses 3 inches of space, so if you choose a 12 inch usable space shelf, 15 inches will be deducted from the space remaining. When you are ready to add the shelf, just click the Add Width button. If you want to change the position of a drawer, click on the drawer and then on the arrows that appear to the left. Using these arrows, move the drawer up or down within the stack until it's in the position you want. If you want to remove a drawer, click on the drawer and then on the trash can to the right. The drawer will be deleted and the drawers above it will drop down to fill the space. At any time, you can click on the Remove All Drawers and Inserts button to start over. When you're finished adding drawers, click on the green button that says Inserts. Here you can add inserts to your drawers. To add inserts, click on any drawer and then, on the left sidebar, click on the type of insert you want. You can add groove trays and bin cups to 3-inch and 4-inch face drawers. For 12-inch and 14-inch drawers, you can add left-to-right or front-to-back file hangers. With all drawer heights, you can add three types of foam inserts. For our adjustable compartments, you have more options. First click on the drawer, and then on the left sidebar, click on the compartments box. A dialog box will open with available options. Select the number of vertical lanes from the list at the top. Once you have the desired lane width for your application, click on one of the compartment layout pictures below to select that layout with dividers. All the dividers shown in these layouts are adjustable within each lane. When you make your selection, the dialog box will close and return you to the main page to choose another drawer or to move on to the next step. After you've selected all the inserts that you need, click the green button that says Colors. On the color screen, you can choose colors for both the cabinet and the drawers within the cabinet. Clicking on the top set of colors changes the cabinet color, and the bottom set of colors changes the drawer color. Once you find the perfect color combination, click on the green button that says Review. Clicking on the blue button that says Show Details will give you a full color view of the finished unit with all the drawer inserts you've selected. You can review the design and then click the Close button. If you want to change your design, you can go back to any stage in the process and make changes step by step by clicking the green buttons at the bottom or jump to a stage with the blue tabs at the top. If you're ready to save your design, click on the blue button that says Print Details and you will be able to print the final layout or save it to a PDF file so you can share it with others. The print window will close and return you to the review screen. If you'd like a price quote for the cabinet you designed, fill in the information on the review screen and click the Send Request button. A copy of your design will be sent to us for pricing and we will respond to your request promptly. You will also receive a copy of the design in your email account. If you close the browser tab or window and open the designer again later, your last design will still be saved. If you go back and change the size of your design, the drawers and inserts you've selected may not fit in the new size. 
You'll be given an option to cancel the size change or design a new drawer and insert layout. So be sure to print or save your original layout on the review page or send a request for a price quote if you want to keep the older version. If you want to create a mobile drawer cabinet design, there will be just a few differences. On the first size screen, click on the blue tab labeled Mobile on the left sidebar. Your heights are limited with a mobile cabinet. 24-inch wide cabinets come with 4-inch caster wheels and two front push handles. Wider cabinets are equipped with 6-inch casters and a full-depth push handle on the side with the swivel casters. You can order the cabinet with the handle on either side. All other actions for the mobile drawer cabinets are the same as the stationary cabinet design. If you want to create a drawers and shelving layout, then on the first size screen, click on the blue tab labeled In Shelving. Select the height, depth, and width of the shelving unit, then click on the green button labeled Shelves. First select the amount of space you want to reserve for drawers by clicking on one of the blue buttons at the top of the left sidebar. The drawing will show the change with a gray area to reflect your choice. Then you can select how many shelves you want above and below the drawer set. When you're done, click on the green button labeled Drawers. From here on, the process is the same as selecting drawers and inserts for fixed and mobile cabinets. Remember that at any time you can click on the blue tabs at the top of the page and continue with a different step in the process. We hope you enjoy creating your own custom design with our Drawers Storage System Designer.